Hey guys, uh, this is the demo of Pico Arda. Let me start again. Hey guys, this is the demo of Pico Arda, the Instagram clone by AppScript.com. Uh, on the left, you have the iOS version, and on the right, we have the Android version. So I'll be walking you through both the apps, just so that you know you guys are sure that the platform works on both. So we have kept, you know, the platform is unique. It's not really an exact match with Instagram. We have tried to keep it unique. So I'll start with showing you how a, how the login process works and, and I'll continue with the sign up process after that. So I'll add a number. If it's not registered, it tells me to sign up. So I'll quickly do that. And add my sign up information. Pick what, uh, give me a username that's available. Add my email address, it's sorted. And now oh, it's already registered, one click, let's try that. So, so that's done. So once I sign up, it sends me a verification code. Uh, on the demo, we have fixed it as all ones, but uh, that can potentially change uh, once we go live, where we could have an integration with Twilio. So let me verify that. And the app then syncs my contacts and it tells, it'll find me, you know, it looks for my friends who are already using the app. So I can follow a few people here. So I can follow this guy, I can follow this guy, follow a few more guys, right? And once I'm done following, I can start using the app. So uh, during, as you may have seen, I'm, I just started following this user app script and that's the same user on the right. So that post that you see on this person's profile on the Android version is right on top on the iOS version, right? So I can scroll down to see the different uh, photos and videos, uh, pretty much like on uh, Instagram. Uh, the videos autoplay, as you may see. Um, I can mute the audio, I can pause the video. All these are very similar to Instagram. So that's all part of the app. Now, this is my profile page. I can go and set a new image if I would like, and that would replace the default RS. So the things that I would like to focus on to begin with, right, are the new features in terms of the revenue models that we've added on the app. So we have tried to uh, add features like uh, OnlyFans on the product while being in the realm of uh, the guidelines set by the App Store and the Play Store. So I could click on click and buy different coins and that would recharge on my, I could recharge that uh, via the in-app purchase program. Or uh, for the time being, I'll add these coins from the CMS so that I can show you how the coins work. So for this particular user, I'll in a minute I'll add some coins and you'll be able to see that the coin balance has gone up from zero. Now, uh, we have an option here for sending tips. So we can send creators tips in case we like some photo. For example, if I like this photo, I could send a tip to this user. So the coins can convert to real money and I'll demonstrate that to you. So we've added a user who's a verified user on the right hand side. So it's basically a official creator of Pico Adda. That's Webhub. And uh, like on OnlyFans, uh, Webhub could potentially go to his subscription settings and set a price for users in case they want to subscribe to him in, in terms of coins. So he set up price of 20 coins for his subscription. So if I really want to find him, I can quickly go here and look for his user. So I find him there. I can go on his profile and I can follow him, right? So now one thing you might notice, uh, you know, on Weber's profile on the right hand side on the Android device, he can see his own photo, the first one. But for me, it appears blurred with the lock icon. Right, so that basically means if I want to see some of his premium content, I have to be a subscri I have to pay a subscription fee to him, right? So in this case, I can subscribe to him for 20 coins, and once I do that, uh, I would start seeing his posts. So the posts get unlocked, right? So that's a that's a new feature that we've added, and it's a great way to make money on the app for both the creators and the app itself, because uh, the app gets a share of the subscription fee. I can find other creators to follow. Let's uh, let's look for other people that I could potentially look uh, at and see if I can find a few more guys. Uh, 
Let's go back here. See if we find someone on the like profile. So I can see all the popular profiles here. So that's something that we've just added. I can follow a few more guys I liked. So I can do that by clicking on their follow on the follow button. So you can see certain posts are unlocked, right? So there's another option where I could unlock a certain post by paying a certain fee. So if I want to unlock this particular post from this creator, I could also just pay 50 coins for that single post to get unlocked. So this is another way of sort of uh, making money for the creators, right? They get uh, they get a percentage percentage share of that as well. So now this post has been unlocked. I can enjoy that content and the creator again gets a percentage share and the app makes a percentage share from the same as well. So that's a new feature that we have added. Now if I like some content, I can always uh, send a tip to that creator. So I could send a tip to Webov in this case and once I do that, that would reflect on his balance. So once he goes back and opens it again, he would see that money uh, that, that amount has been credited into his balance. So that's an option. Uh, that's an option that we call send tips. So that's how the coins convert to real money. So this is again a feature that we've added. Now as a creator, uh, Webov could go live on this on this uh, on the Picoada app. So Webov can click on the live uh, option here. So Webov can start the live stream by clicking on the go live button and uh, I will be on the live users page. The live users page is where we, where we can see all the users who are live on the app um, in real time. So Webov takes a snap and that would be the cover image of the stream. And once he does that, I would see that stream show up in real time on my device. So Webov has options to mute his um, microphone. He has an option to switch cameras. He, he can send messages, uh, use smileys and all that stuff. So if I want to go watch Webov stream, I can click on the view stream icon and that would connect me live, right? So then I can start watching him and he can see all the users are watching him live. I could send him these hearts in real time. I could send him gifts. And once I send those gifts, he would get them in real time on his send as well. So you will notice that the coins are being deducted on my end, right? So as those coins have been deducted, he would be getting those credits. So Webber can then end the stream and uh, he will get a summary of the amount he's made and whatever money he's made, for example, the number of gifts he's received and the coins he's earned would credit that amount into his wallet. So that's another way for the creator to make uh, money on the system. And for every, for every uh, coin that the creator earns, uh, the app would get a percentage share from that, right? So. So that's the third new revenue model that we've added on the app. That's via the live stream. So we've added more features uh, on the app that were, uh, that were again, unique. Uh, we've added this option where users can chat with each other, right? So you could uh, do a single chat, group chat, secret chat. So uh, since Weber is a creator, I can't add him on a chat, but he can add me on a chat. So uh, if I, he finds my, if Weber starts following me, uh, he could potentially start a chat with me as well, right? So that's that's something new that uh, we've added. And if I want to see the people who I'm following, I can see them on the following tab. And people who are following me, uh, I would see them on my followers tab. So uh, this is the explore page uh, that we've also created, where we can see the popular hashtags and see posts that are that are linked with the hashtag. For example, here it's the app script. Uh, hashtag. So Webov can then send me a message. Once he sends me a message, I would get that in my chat page. So I see that here. So we can chat in real time, right? So now Webov is a creator or a verified user, and that's why I don't see the call and uh, video call icons on my end, but he can initiate a call with me because since he's a star and I'm a user. So Webov can then initiate a video call with me by clicking on the video icon. So Webov will now initiate the video call uh, with me by clicking on the video icon. So once he does that, I get a call on my end and I 
you can pick that up by clicking on the accept on the video icon right so once we do that uh, you know the call gets initiated and we can do a video call with each other it's completely real time so he ends the call now webup could then go on to initiate an audio call with me as well so he does that and then once he does that i get a notification on my end i can pick that up and once i do that i can then speak with him just like on whatsapp over a video or over an audio session so that's another thing that we added so i can end the call by clicking on the end icon uh, we have other options on the chat that is sending payments and you know uh, sending photos all these are common with whatsapp right so these are all functional i could send all of this information on on chat if i go ahead and send a payment it will ask me to first complete my kyc and how do i do that if i go to my profile i go to my wallet page and i mention i want to withdraw my money so it will ask me a bunch of things so i can go add my document number i could you know quickly put something here i can upload my kyc id proof document so i can do that really quick so i go ahead and do that upload my kyc docs and i send that to the admin for verification now we have an admin panel that is linked with the app and all these documents are visible on that admin panel so the user or the administrator then uh, goes and confirms uh, my um, kyc and once that gets approved i would then be able to receive and send payments on the app right so now when i go back and check it i can see that my kyc is been approved and now i can potentially uh, you know make do transactions on the app so i can add my card uh, real quick right because i'll put some money into my wallet using my card so we can do that so this is that slight fintech angle that we have introduced in the product so it's not just a social app but it's also got a little social angle for i mean it's got a finance angle where you could actually make payments to people within the within the app itself so i'll go quickly put some money into my wallet and that shows up over there now in case i want to send some money to webhub on the chat i can click on the payment option and it would launch the screen where i could send a test payment to chat uh, to webhub so once i do that i can i get an he gets an alert on his side that he has received 95 rupees uh, the 5 rupees have been cut for uh, payment processing and that's again another revenue model for the app so every time anyone makes payments on the app you could the app would makes a certain commission from that right now there are other features that are there on the app i could initiate a secret chat with webhub and uh, you know and and that would uh, that would basically uh, be something similar to uh, snapchat where the messages self destruct after a certain amount of time so that's something that we've introduced now we've also introduced a qr code based payment system on the app so if i want to send some money to webhub i could do that from my wallet so i could scan his qr code to initiate some payment so that's again a new feature that we have added so i could send that money to him and once i do that that money gets sent to him and he receives the money from from me right so again this is further to that finance angle that we've added on the app so that's that's a new thing now as a creator uh, we get options when if webhub wants to create a post he can go and create a post on the system so the creators have an option to create paid posts so we'll show one we'll show how we can make one with webhub's profile so we click on that we we'll move over to the video and now the cool thing here is we've added a select sound feature which is a bit like tiktok so we can click on a sound and we can select the one we want to dub with so we can select one of these dummy sounds that we've added and now webhub could potentially create a video with this sound right and so it's like a good mix of uh, tiktok and instagram in one app right so once he does that he can then go ahead and upload that video and if if he wants to edit that further he, there's options to edit that and we have an option to upload uh, or capture videos in different sections pretty much like tiktok so what we have done is we have tried to add some tiktok features with uh, with instagram that's what we have done a bit different now he could potentially uh, make this a paid post by clicking on the paid post icon uh, the paid post switch switch and he could add a value to that in terms of coins and if he wants to add it to a category he could select the category he wants to link it with 
and yep, so that's good. And he can share that post. So since I follow him, I would you know see that post on my news feed once it's uh, uploaded, and uh, I could then you know see how see if that post is interesting for me, and then you know sort of work with that. So I could go to his profile and see that right. So that's the feature with uh, that's that's how a creator could potentially upload content on the system. So that's something that uh, uh, is a bit bit different in, in, in the app today. Any image that I like, uh, I could double tap to like. I could uh, save this. I could comment on a image, right? So that's like Instagram. So I could put comments, and those comments would be visible under the post. I could add uh, a post to my bookmarks. So that's something that we've added. So I could bookmark this, and uh, I can see where I've saved it. So that's that's something that I've added. If I want to make my own collection, I could make my own collection. Again, this is similar to what we have on Instagram. If I want to share my post, uh, I want to share a random post with Weber, I could do that as well. I could just send it. And that post would be visible on the chat. And he could potentially look at that and open it on his end as well. So that's a way we can forward posts inside the chat. Uh, we have an option to also enable dark theme. So we have added this new feature where the app can completely work in the dark theme as well. So this is something that's been added fresh, and it's uh, I think it's a pretty cool feature to use. So uh, if I want to if I want to become a business profile or get a verified profile, we have given an option for you to create a verified profile by submitting a form. Once approved, I would see that little badge against my name. If I want to apply to be a business profile, I can do that here as well, similar to what we have on Instagram. And businesses can create uh, posts with links. So that's, that's, a, that's a unique feature that businesses get. Uh, whoever I subscribe to can be seen in my subscriptions. If I want to cancel that subscription, I can do that by confirming. And that would stand as canceled. Um, if I want to report a problem, if I want to block users, we have all those features which are uh, important in a social app today. Uh, any post that I've liked, would see, I would see it on my like post section. Any post that I've been tagged in, I see on my tag post section. Any post that I've purchased would show up on my unlocked post section. And this is where I can see all my collections. The activity tab would be the tab where I can see the activity of my friends and myself as well. So that's on the activity tab. The wallet page is where I could see my money that I've made, right? So this is where I see it. Uh, we are using Stripe as a payment gateway on the system. So I could fill up this form and you know, make a connected Stripe account and then request a withdrawal. Uh, we have that already connected on WebOf's account, so we can show you how we could process a withdrawal. So I could, I already have, I've already linked the bank account, so I can select that. And then I could enter the amount I want to withdraw. And that request would be sent to the admin. And uh, the admin would uh, approve or deny those requests, right? So that's how the request withdrawal process would work. So uh, that's, that's a feature that we've added. So that's a good way of converting coins to real money and for people on the app to make money and cash out. So we feel that's a critical feature on the platform. And we've definitely provided that on the app already. So uh, we also have an option to select stories. I can create a story by clicking on the story uh, feature here, right? So I could take a photo and snap that, right? I could record a quick video, and I can add that to my story, right? Now this full screen experience is what you see on TikTok, right? So I could take a photo and snap that, right? So I could add that I could to record my a right? story. Now this full screen now experience is. I could take a photo and snap. So all those, my story would be visible to all my followers, and uh, they could see that on their uh, on their homepage. So uh, if anyone who's following me would potentially be able to see that on my profile on the homepage, right? So that's again a feature that we have added. So Weber can now see my story on his site, right? So it's that's the story I just recorded. So this is similar to what you would see in WhatsApp and and Instagram. So this pretty much wraps up the demo of the Pico Adda app. Uh, you know, we've put a lot of focus on revenue models this time around. 
and how people could uh, make money on the system and how people who run this business can make money on the platform. And we have tried to ensure that we are within the realms of the guidelines that are set by the App Store and the Play Store. So we hope you like the video and uh, we'll be happy to sort of uh, entertain any questions. My name is Rahul Sharma. I'm the founder of the company AppScript. Uh, feel free to reach out to me at dreamer at appscript.com or uh, do visit our website and drop us a message there. Um, set up a meeting with me. I'll be very happy to speak with anybody who is interested to build a social media app. At the end, hope you like this demo. Um, look forward to making many more. Thank you very much.